Oh, wait, I think my girlfriend might have left the microwave on. Bye. Good thing you clicked on this video because I'm gonna show you exactly how to achieve that But make sure you watch the first video because this is more of an advanced level class And if you're not ready for this one go watch the last one Okay in this video I'm gonna show you how to edit how to put in the sounds how to connect it to Omegle But make sure you watch the first one because that one is way more in depth of how to set everything up Okay, this is just a more creative and technical side of everything and minor tweaks that we can make as we go along Let's get right into it. <laughs> That's step one. Go watch the last video. Next step, we're gonna go to YouTube and we're gonna look up microwave and beep. I'm gonna have it in the description so you guys don't have to go looking for it, but this is it. Download this and then go to Y2Mate, paste that link, and then you just wanna download the MP3 file. I'm gonna go to audio and then convert, download, and then I'm gonna save it as microwave and beep sound editing or sound effect. Why did I say that? I'm gonna save that. Now we're gonna go to our OBS sounds. So we're gonna hit this. We're gonna name it microwave Riz. All right. And then we're gonna go click the add button in sources. And then we're gonna go to media source. Click that microwave sound. And you can use like the oven sound, anything, okay? Whatever you, you wanna do, like the door riz. I'll show it right now. Okay. Oh shit, wait, someone's at my door, sorry. Shut up. Boy, ain't no fucking way, boy. Boy, ain't no way, boy. You can do either one, but I'm gonna do the microwave one because I think this is like low-key the easiest one to do. You're gonna click browse, find the file with the beeping noise, click open, and then click OK. You go to microwave sound right here, click down here, so you can hear the sound that you're actually playing. Click advanced audio properties right here, monitor only, close that, go back to nothing. And we can just hear it, you get it? In the filters, click in the plus right here, audio monitor. Okay, virtual cable input, boom, close it out. Now they can hear it. Now we have the sound in, but we don't have the video playing yet, okay? So then we're gonna go on your iPhone, go record a video, and then we're gonna be adding that into OBS now. So you wanna download VLC player on your phone. Okay, once you have VLC downloaded, you wanna go back into your photos, and then we're gonna wanna share this and basically put it into the VLC folder so then we can see it on our browser. So. Save to files, VOC selected already for me. Click save, and then now it's gonna go into our VOC folders, okay? So now I go to videos, and the video is right here, this one. Oh shit, I should've edited it. Make sure you edit it. <laughs> now I have to delete it, and then I have to do it again because I didn't edit it. You wanna go to your network, and then on, right there, it says your IP or whatever it is. You wanna type that into your browser. We're gonna search for our video. If it's not showing up, just refresh the page. Boom, the video's right here. We wanna save it as an MP4, click save. Then we're gonna open up our, our OBS again. Click add, we're gonna click microwave scene, add media source, microwave clip. Boom, we wanna add that there. Click browse, go to wherever you saved it, and click open, and then click okay. If your orientation is wrong, just right click it, go to transform, and then rotate 180. In the microwave scene, I would put another webcam source in it. So like for this one, I would go in here and then add my, my, my webcam right under it, like that, and then resize it. I'll move this down. So then, so when that plays and it's done, it'll just come back to my face. Webcam, toggle into the microwave scene. It'll play the microwave we've seen and then it'll automatically shut this one off and then go back to the Canon. If you wanna make it a lot easier, you set the hotkeys, right? So then first we're gonna set the microwave Riz sound. So go to settings, hotkeys, scroll down till you see microwave Riz. And then I'm gonna set that to control N for me. You can set whatever you like, apply, okay? And then on the video scene, go to settings. We're gonna go to hotkey, scroll down till you see microwave scene. And then I'm gonna make that to control M. Now I have control M and then control N, okay? You know what's the crazy thing about doing all this is that 99.4% of you are not subscribed. Like, have I not provided enough value? Like, over 10,000 people have seen that video and only 0.6% of you guys have subscribed. That's crazy, bro. 
Like I'm giving y'all game for free and y'all don't even wanna return the favor by hitting a little button. But that's okay, cause I'm gonna I'm stay here and I'm gonna keep grinding. I'm gonna keep providing y'all value and hopefully I will earn that subscribe, please, <laughs> please. Now, if you really wanna make it super, super like professional, then you can also go into CapCut and then actually make a whole scene out of it. So let's import the microwave one, add that in. And then we can also add in the Amigo Skip right here. We can also add that in put it down and then we should put a soundtrack under it so then we can just go to google find a sound put it under okay it took me a minute to find this but if you ever want to find an audio that for these edits just type in the song name and then type in edit audio okay on youtube and then just copy the link paste it man this took me a while to find okay you're gonna start it and then you're gonna download the mp3 and then we're gonna put it into cap cut now we can download it boom right there yummy the edit audio edit save it and then now we're gonna hop back into cap cut import the audio in we're gonna drag Drag it down and then we're gonna line it up to however we like it. Now that I have it edited, this is what it's gonna look like when I do press the hotkey. <laughs> and then we can probably put another skip at the end right here just to bait them one more time, you know? And then we're gonna cut that one short. It goes from skip to the microwave clip to skip again. And then you wanna go in and export it. We're gonna export that. And then we can go back into our OBS. And instead of this microwave scene now, we can actually add in our new one that we just made. So media source, cool. Name it whatever you want to name it, okay? And then find the video. Mine's right there. Boom, I have it in there. And we're gonna need to resize it on Omegle, right? As it's casting, like you see right now, you're gonna need to resize it because the Omegle uh, skip thing is gonna look funky. It's gonna look fake, okay? So we just wanna lock the cannon one so we don't mess with it. Then go to this one. And if it's off a little, make sure you resize it. You know, like that. Something like that, so then it looks more real. Something that I don't think I explained very well in the last video or in the first video was that every new audio that you do put in, you have to go to these three buttons right here, click it, and then you need to configure the filter and the advanced audio properties, okay? So in the advanced audio properties, make sure monitoring only is on, okay? So then that gives you the ability to hear whenever you're playing it. Because you can play it, but you won't be able to hear it. And then for the other people to hear it, you need to go to filters and then add the filter, the audio monitoring filter, and then put the virtual cable one. And that way you can hear it and they can hear it at the same time. Same thing with the microwave riz, you need to do the exact same thing. In the microwave sound right here, boom. In the filters, click in the plus right here, audio monitor, okay. And virtual cable input, boom, close it out now they can hear it but can you hear it click here advanced audio properties and make sure monitoring only is on so you will also be able to hear it to so run it on omegle so whenever you do decide make sure you have start virtual cam on okay and then this is how we're gonna run it we're gonna first go to our nothing sound so then nothing is playing and then we're gonna hit the hot key for the microwave riz and then be like oh i left my microwave on let me be right back and you can pretend hit your camera right like you're leaving but you're not actually leaving right when we go like this we're gonna click this one okay so then it's gonna look like it's skipping so it's gonna play this And then it's gonna skip it one more time and then it's gonna come back to us. This one is just an old microwave video, so we don't even need that anymore. Go to nothing and then go to your normal camera. I'll just go to the shitty camera, you know, to make it look like it's like really ass, you know, like I really gotta go, you know, and I mean, it just makes me look uglier, you know what I'm saying? Let me just rename this so then you guys actually understand what I'm doing, okay? So this is microwave sound. I named it as control N or put control N because that's the hotkey that I set it as. This one is control M. So we're gonna go to our basic camera or this one our basic camera and then our nothing if you guys want to make your hotkeys easier this is like the best fucking tip to do so okay it goes from control k and then i'm gonna control n and then be like oh wait i gotta go and my girlfriend left the microwave on or whatever okay make your excuse and then we're gonna toggle control m oh wait i think my girlfriend might have just left the microwave on hold on And then it comes back to me. It takes a lot of pre-processing, but once you get it down, it's pretty fun and it's pretty creative. You know, you can do so much with it. You can do the oven one, you can do the door one, whatever you like, you know, it's all the same concept. But that's it for this simple little tutorial. If you wanna go Riz, make sure you have the most utmost confidence in the world while you're doing it. And I really believe in y'all. So make sure you tag me if you make a video on it. That's it for this tutorial, pretty simple. Good luck. See y'all on my For You page, peace.